I am excited to share this one with you today. This one for web scraping abilities in Bubble is a lot like walking into a store and saying to the clerk, I'm out of possibilities. Do you have any possibilities in stock? And the clerk looks back at you and says, right this way, sir or ma'am. We have endless possibilities on aisle five. Now, endless possibilities, that might not make sense in context of a web scraping video, but if you stick around until the end, I'm going to reveal the secret power of web scraping in today's world with Bubble. Doing something like scraping on the web, there's a ton of different ways to use it. My personal preference these days is just if you're going to do this, especially if you're going to build this into an app where you plan on, you know, selling the value that is eventually created out of your app to end users is just to go with the folks that have already solved many of the tangential problems related to scraping. So, for example, this one by Scraping Bee, they've already handled, you know, out of the box, all these different levels of, you know, scraping with JavaScript on or off or through a proxy or other ways that you can make sure you get at the actual URLs that are entered. Um, so just a, you know, very quick word about that as we get going. That's why we'll be using Scraping Bee and, you know, just a, I don't know, a philosophy on using tools in general. But okay, so over at scrapingbee.com is where you'll head to and then just go ahead and hit sign up which you can log in with Google account or, you know, a number of other options. Um, I have already logged in and right away, you don't even have to do anything. They just give you an API key. So you, you want to go ahead, copy that. And then now let's head over to our bubble uh, editor where we'll make use of it. First, let's just take a look at what we have on the screen here. Uh, labels. So this is where the URL will get entered into. Then let's go um, and we'll do the, the scraping. Uh, then this one here is the result, but we don't have anything yet. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that as a, we'll do a custom state. And we'll just call this scrape result. Uh, we'll just make that a text. And then in here, we will display said result. Cool. So that's just how I'm handling my data in this example. Obviously, you might save that to the database. You might do something else with it. You might send it straight on to some other service, but we'll, um, we'll see. So next, head over to plugins where we will look for scraping, website scraping. So this one is already made by someone specifically for Scraping B. It's free as of the time of making this video. Can't make any promises there. Uh, I've already installed this plugin, so it has all my, my API key just everywhere. Um, so go ahead and do that. Get your API, API key in there, and the action we'll be using here is the scrape text. But check it out. You can do other stuff too, right? So you could scrape a screenshot, uh, which is cool if you're scraping a website, giving a report uh, on what the website is all about or something. Um, but we'll get into that uh, right after this. So... Um, that's pretty easy, right? <laughs> API key, actually, I don't know if it gets much easier for that than using third-party tools. Um, thank you to the plugin creator. Uh, I didn't catch their name. Let's go give them a shout out. Maybe. Pilot and launch. Thanks guys. So, uh, we will now make this edit under plugins, scrape text. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll use our input. So we'll take that URL. Uh, let's see, it's gonna need the HTTPS in it. So I suppose, you know, there's some stuff that you could do to make sure that it's error proof, user proof, um, et cetera. But so now we'll, we'll take the result of this and we can see the result of step one. What do we have here? So we have a bunch of different things and we're just gonna go with the body text. So for now, we're not doing anything too fancy. This is just kind of like a um, preliminary concept for where this might go or where you might take it. Um, I do know that here on the channel, we get all types of folks, agency owners, um, entrepreneurs, other people who are looking to build cool and interesting things, um, or just people uh, leveling up their bubble skills and, you know, taking that skills and serving clients. Um, but obviously you can see that 
the the usefulness well we'll get we'll get to that okay so let's go let's go take a look shall we um i am going to i'm going to scrape scraping bees website <laughs> uh so we'll go so let's watch this step by step run next takes that sets this state with all of this text that it found made in france uh so if we were to look at all this text here it ends with made in france uh, it has all of this information on it. So imagine if we were maybe an agency creating a tool for clients and we wanted to, uh, well, let's go run. Okay, there we go. We wanted to do something with this information. We have a potentially a new client. We're just trying to make our processes that much quicker by doing a little bit of automation, right? And we could get all of this pulled into something. And then it's time for the big reveal. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is the power of web scraping these days? Well, when you have all of this data that comes in from a web page, and I'll note that you can also crawl pages, there's a plugin for crawling pages. So you could, prior to the step that we did here, you could crawl some pages, put those into a repeat, repeating group, have them all like, you know, checked as like that you'll scrape them or have them not checked or do some filtering or something. Basically, you can give options of multiple URLs, is what I'm saying. Um, and then you could you could scrape all of those, and then you can give them all the information to a AI via an API. Uh, check out the Chat GTP bubble, Chat GTP to bubble, bubble to Chat GTP API connector video here on the channel um, that'll give you get you going at least for sending some data off to uh, the Chat GTP, and then getting something back where you can display it in bubble. So. Uh, that is the big reveal is using AI with web scraping data. And what can we do with this? What ideas are out there? Well, I thought of some good ones. Um, you could probably head over to an AI tool and think of some better ones as well, or at other additional ones. So let's look at this social media content creation. You could scrape a website and analyzing the company's product or service. Now you might need an additional page or you can get enough from the homepage. This one is pretty thorough in my opinion. Uh, if you gave that to one of these fancy AIs, you would you could ask your AI with some backend prompting, pre-made stuff, right? That it would come up with. It could go out and create images. Check out the Midjourney uh, API tutorial on this channel. There is also a text to video. Uh, uh, tutorial on this channel for Pika, uh, kind of an early stage text to video tool. Um, and then you could come back with 30 days worth of content. You could give them one to three days for free. Then they have to pay, you know, $19.99 to get their other 30 days. They're amazed. Um, what a SaaS product there, right? Uh, something for competitor analysis where you scrape competitors' websites, a couple of them, list up to three, and then analyze their content strategy with AI present an analysis in a PDF that you either give for sale or do it as a lead magnet, right? If you're, you know, that, that type of uh, business or a TikTok video script, you scrape the website, analyze this uh, stuff here and ask the smart um, powers that be how to, you know, get some, get some topics, get some scripts going. And uh, there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did mean so much to me, if you give a like or subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.